<laughs> Hi, boys and girls. I bet you know what time it is. It's story time. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you the story about Stacer, the Santa Mobile, when it came to Santa's village. It was about 10 years ago on Christmas Eve, and I was flying the skies delivering presents from house to house. And we came to the end of one street, and a gentleman wanted a new car. It was on his list, and he had been on the nice list. So, whoosh, there it was, <laughs> in his driveway, and then we sped off into the night sky. Uh, Rudolph turned around to me and said, Santa, it's so sad. I said, what, what do you mean, Rudolph? Uh, so sad, everybody's happy. We're giving new presents to everybody. He said, no, well, Santa, d did you not see? Um, as we were delivering that new car, the old car in the driveway was crying. And I could see the tears coming from his headlights. Oh, I, f I felt so sad. I, I wanted to go back, but I could not stop delivering the presents. We had to deliver the rest of them to all the boys and girls all over the world. Huh. The next day, I took off my Santa suit and put on my normal clothes and told Mrs. Claus that I was going to go back to see the old car. As I walked up the street, I could see the new car on the driveway, but the old car was missing. I, I, I knocked on the front door and, and asked where the old car was. Oh, it's finished. I've sent it to the breaker's yard to be torn down, made into scrap metal. Well, I, I looked up the street and I, and I could see the, 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 the trail of tears. I, I followed the trail all the way to the scrapyard. Yes, I looked inside and I could see the car about to be crushed in the crusher. Stop, I shouted. I, 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 want, to, I want to buy that car. Uh, Sam the scrap man then said, uh, Ten dollars. And well, I can have for ten dollars? He said yes. So I gave him ten dollars and I got into the car and said to him, well, what is your name? He said, my name is Stan, he said, as I drove him out of the yard. Well, I could see he was in pretty darn bad shape. Whew. As we got around the corner, he couldn't go any further. He stopped right there in the parking zone. A no parking zone. Huh. I, I'll phone Rudolph and tell him to come get us, yes. Uh, but we'll have to wait after dark because we don't want anybody to see the sleigh, <laughs> especially after Christmas. <laughs> Just then, the traffic warden appeared from around the corner. He says, you can't stop here. I, I, I have to give you a ticket and tow you away. Ooh, ooh. Well, uh, hello, John, I said. He said, how do you know my name is John? I, I'm, a, I'm a warden. I remember you as a little boy. I said, believe it or not, he was a good boy. <laughs> Seeing that you know me, I will let you stay for a while, he said. In, in fact, you remind me of someone, he said. <clears throat> and then left looking puzzled, trying to think of how he knew me. Ho, 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 <laughs> Santa. <clears throat> as it got dark, I could see Rudolph. He was coming in the sky. His, his red nose had lit the way. <laughs> Quickly, Rudolph, we must get Stan back to the North Pole. Um, have a crash team standing by. Uh, we must save Stan. Well, as we approached the North Pole, I could see the huge garage doors open with the crash team standing by. Straight into the garage. Stan went and the doors were closed. Just like that. We waited. And we waited. And we waited. Yeah. Oh. It was about after four days. It, yeah, the doors slowly opened. And there was Stan. He was all painted white and red and looking brand new. <laughs> Mickey, the motor mechanic, walked up to me and said, Santa, well, Stan is fit and well. He said, well, uh, we can, we can now uh, move as fast as the reindeer. Let's call him Stacer. Oh, everybody cheered. Everybody did. Stacer's headlights started to flash. It was the first time he had been able to flash his lights in years. And now he was part of Santa's village. 
and he would be looked after forever. <laughs> you know, the funnest thing for him now is taking Mrs. Claus to the store to get us those good meals. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, everybody!